What if I told you you could get paid to learn about cryptocurrency? Sound like one of those YouTube ads. Knowledge. Some wanker on TikTok. Please do not share this secret. No, but I'm serious. It's called a crypto airdrop. Basically, you get out there in these blockchains and these protocols. You do things on decentralized networks. Yes, you hold the coins you're dealing with normally almost the entire time or most of them enough of the time, which keeps you safe from fraudulent activities like the SBF, Alameda, FTX, Scam, Ponzi scandal. Today, we're going to be digging into airdrops. Specifically, we're going to be looking at the Optimism blockchain. And you may not know this, but if you've participated with Optimism, you probably just got some more OP tokens. You don't even have to claim. They're in your wallet. You better check. But the airdrop season isn't over. That's why I'm here. Hello, my name is Drew Vosk, and you're on the Vosk One YouTube channel. DeFi Llama, nice source. Checking it out. TVL total value locked on the Optimism blockchain, $800 million, basically. It's not down too bad in the last 24 hours, but it is dominated by one protocol with a whopping 24%. Woo, need to get that under control, ideally. I'm going to assume that you know what MetaMask is and you have it set up. If you don't, check out our video guide on it. We also have a specific video guide on using the Optimism blockchain with MetaMask. And we have a couple other airdrop hunting videos in the past where I cover more of the basics. Consider this an intermediate level cryptocurrency video. DeFi, decentralized finance, it's a blast. And subscribers that have followed along with all of our DeFi videos have made over $100,000 most likely in crypto airdrops. That's not a brag or a flex or whatever, it's just facts, it's factual. So digging in, we see Velodrome, we see Synthetics, we see Curve, we see Ave. What I really do like about Velodrome is it's just on the OP chain. Having a protocol that's on many different blockchains, well, that's great. But there's something about a homegrown protocol that you really just want to become your champion. Like Uniswap, the big first mover decentralized exchange, the originator king of AMMs, automated market makers, right? That's Ethereum's baby. And yeah, they branched out some, but you don't forget where it came from. I mean, here it is, number six on Optimism. The Optimism network conducted a surprise token airdrop, sending 11.7 million governance tokens to more than 300,000 wallets. Oh yeah. Then the price dumped. So this is my transaction. I got some OP tokens. Didn't hit as much of the airdrop as I had hoped for. And that's just due to not enough activity. Hunting a lot of airdrops on a lot of chains. It's, I mean, it's like I kind of take a shotgun approach. So I hit him a little bit, but I didn't kill him. Wasn't a slug. Point being, though, is I got some coins. Only about 10 this time. The original airdrop, I earned thousands, which was pretty cool. What's more interesting, though, talking about the future of optimism, is the fact that they just hit their all-time high. Market conditions are pretty bad still at the time of recording this video. And they hit an all-time high just 10 days ago. They are down 33% from that all-time high, but most cryptocurrencies are down 50, 60, 70, 80, 96% from their all-time highs. And interestingly enough, they bottomed out eight months ago. Huh, how about that? They ranked 94 out of all cryptocurrencies by market cap. So they're a top 100 token, even after losing 12% just today and falling 33% from their all-time high just 10 days ago. That's not even two weeks. Optimism has multiple airdrops in the pipeline. This was just two, two of many more. This is how their airdrop worked. You can see most people qualified for a gas usage reward, myself being one of those. And this is the airdrop that you really wanted. 57,000. So after that, you may be wondering, how do I delegate? Well, great news, they got a how to delegate your tokens post. So I could just go ahead and drop that below. Oh, and I will. 
But let's head over there too. I need to choose a delegate. So let's get to searching. Let's take interests, right? We'll go DeFi and we'll go English. Okay. Apply. And pretty much everyone's still here. How interesting is it though that some of these recommended delegates are all out of universities? Blockchain at Berkeley, blockchain at Hopkins, Penn blockchain. There's a lot of different reasons why you could pick this, that, or whatever. Let's pick this guy because he says he's a DeFi, DGen. Okay, so we select. Now we'll go ahead and re-delegate. We're already connected with MetaMask up there. We'll get a transaction prompt. Click. Keep in mind that you can delegate to yourself. You can delegate to other addresses, right? They don't just have to be here. You could just punch a name in here, right? Or an ETH address, whatever, because this isn't Ethereum Layer 2, Layer 2 solution. Bitcoin mining is really cool, but to be honest, it's loud. The devices are expensive. And there are some pretty interesting alternatives. Like I'm earning $60 a month in passive income after my electricity bill using this hard drive miner. It's small, barely any heat or noise, and it's profitable. Check it out with the link down below and save some money by using our coupon code BOSSCOIN. What's the point of optimism if Ethereum actually solves its scalability issue? Well, initially there isn't really one. But the fact is, they've been around for a while, they're building a community, they're building dApps, decentralized applications, and at this point, they're as much a layer two scalability tool as they are really just a competitor. And tokens are worth money, which means that people will never give them up. So, for better and worse, chains like this are here to stay. And you might wanna stick around, because Optimism wanted to remind you that they got more airdrops in the pipeline. They're distributing 19% of the total initial token supply to airdrops. After drops one and two, almost 14% of this airdrop allocation remain. Congrats to the Gators and those OP overpowered people. You may remember their quests. Yes, the quests have come and gone. Galaxy is a much better tool for looking at their quests. It's the same thing, but it shows you what you could do, has links, if it's available, if you've claimed it, and everything else. So if you participated in that, awesome. That ship has come and gone. When you click around on Galaxy, there's just a lot of fluff coming in, a lot of junk. I think they ca they really like could have a big upside, but right now I think there's just too much junk kind of coming in the search engine, and it really needs to be something big and marketed like that optimism collection and when you go into a collection on galaxy right it looks like this there's multiple nfts and things like that just look at that number three and a half million nfts minted that's crazy but when i was just searching around on galaxy i put in uh, optimism as my chain sorted by newest and uh, uh mainly i got like nfts and stuff like that and then i got these and i was like, okay like maybe that's interesting so i pull that up and I just really don't like how many of these force you to join their Discord server. I mean, I get it. We have a Discord server. Uh, it's incredible community, stuff like that. Uh, and I think you should join it. But it's just, uh, you know, for me, I have to be really interested in something to join the Discord server and hang out in there. Uh, it depends on you and how you want to deal with it. But that's just me personally. I used to be in a lot more Discord servers. Uh, but I don't know. Just kind of got old. A little, a little too much fluff. In my life too much stuff to keep up with one of the protocols i used in the optimism quest was hop exchange so make sure you remember what you used where you deployed capital right tokens and liquidity positions and things like that for example i put up 500 bucks in there 500 bucks matters to me so that's in this pool i came over here and i claimed my rewards and i'm like you know I got a little bit of my USDC back uh, from moving out of a couple positions that I was really just using to get uh, the Quest NFTs or airdrop hunt or whatever. So maybe I just want to earn a little more interest with that. So in this case, I'm going to go ahead and deposit uh, 150 more USDC. I've just got sitting in my wallet idle here. Keep in mind, make sure you know what you're doing, right? I mean, 
a hop exchange could rug me have a vulnerability stuff like that i mean it's code it's protocol audits peer reviews publicly available information things like that yeah sure great uh just under make sure you understand the risks is just my simple point there uh so you see i get a couple transaction prompts and then my balance is up to 658 uh, so nothing crazy there, but I've increased it, and because of that, I'll get increased uh, on my rewards. They have boosted rewards here, so trading fees leading to 1.68%, and then hop rewards at 6.52%. Uh, they also have a couple other pools that have some decent returns, which you could pursue yourself if you'd like to do so. Obviously, there's Velodrome. It's a leading decentralized exchange on the Optimism blockchain. Uh, so I went over there claim my rewards with a velodrome as well it's simple it's easy to use this isn't something you're really airdrop hunting this will probably be where you go to take profits or buy into other tokens or whatever else uh so for here you know again just to show you another know, decentralized trade i punch in the token that i want uh, it's not immediately obvious just one of those things like well what would make sense for them to do you click that token icon and then you're going to open a list and be able to go ahead and uh, trade other cryptocurrencies that you'd like to do so you can add liquidity vest and you get war rewards and things like that you know sky's the limit when it comes to DeFi. there when you're airdrop hunting you're not gonna really be looking in the top apps or dApps necessarily you're gonna start going down the list you're gonna start looking for optimism most likely ideally native projects right so you see something like lemma you see something like fundex you see something like pegasus finance and juggler red i'm not recommending or endorsing these or anything like that i mean uh some of these are to be honest as far as liquidity goes microscopic and risky but basically that's my point and uh, i'm not saying any of those have tokens or will do an airdrop or whatever else but just a little food for thought on the mindset um, on that front the other thing is just when projects start to get buzz and buzz and it's like yeah these guys are probably gonna do an airdrop uh, for example bankless guys are hyping up li-fi and bungie for having an incoming airdrop and uh, so i go over here to something li-fi powers and check it out so let's see let's say i'm on the optimism blockchain and i've got some ethereum on there and I want to go to the ETH chain with some Ethereum. And what this is, is a swap and bridge. So, well, in this scenario, let me let me pick some chains that are a little cheaper. So, let's go from ETH on Optimism to Matic, right? And so we go 0.01 Ethereum. So, that's 15 bucks, right? So, this is what they recommend for us. So, really, it looks like we're dealing with a decentralized exchange bridge aggregator so for example this is using hyphen across multi-chain either way we're going to push forward and get a transaction in the books using this protocol this utilizes again the li-fi smart contract bridge from optimism to polygon via hyphen at first you're like 15 whoa whoa, whoa. no 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 just relax gas fee 22 cents that other value is just correlated to the token that we're dealing with so we click it and we go optimism is a fast blockchain and it's a cheap blockchain it's a league better than ethereum everything's better than ethereum in case you were wondering but pay attention we got a chain switch in the book so it swapped us to matic now it, te it tells us what we're doing so we're swapping on the polygon blockchain uh so we're actually using Qu quickswap which is a decentralized exchange on the polygon matic blockchain this is a multi transaction jump from bridging to trading to signing a transaction with an associated gas fee the bottom line though is we are going through a lot of different protocols right now smart contracts at the end a very low price point to do that and it's got some nice details even just like simply hey by the way there's now 893 matic in your address like that's a good user experience unlike many protocols 
So if we go to their dashboard, we can go ahead and add our address. Sometimes even just connecting to something will get you uh, eligibility. We saw that with DAP Radar and their radar token. So I'm connected here uh, with my hot MetaMask address and you can see it's scanning against uh, different chains, trying to pull some value for us. How much value we have on these chains. And so it's all definitely cool and interesting to see there. Let's move on to the next one. So we're going to be looking at Bungie Exchange. And we've got something similar here. We're on the Polygon chain, so let's go back to, uh, to Optimism. We've got some USDC on this chain. So let's send 100 USDC or $100 to the OP blockchain. They have a refuel function, which is kind of cool. Basically, you swap native tokens on the source chain from native tokens to transact on the destination chain. You can also bridge and transfer, which you can basically bridge and go to a different address here in uh, just one function, one, trend, one, uh, one click, right? One click to do multiple things. Looking at our bridge fee, we're looking at 19 cents. Looking at our source gas fee, not much. So that's cool. Let's go ahead and approve this. They're going to need to be able to interact with us and these... In, in particular, we're giving them permission to access our USDC tokens because this isn't the native token on this protocol. If it's the native token, which would be like ETH on Ethereum or Matic on Polygon, then you don't have as many allowances and approval, uh, which does keep you safer because, well, you don't give access to your tokens. And it's when you give access to a bad smart contract, basically that's when you get hacked, coins get drained, so make sure you're always paying attention that you're on the right spot, and you know what you're doing. Which is all the more reason why you should use our links that we drop down in the video description below to make sure you are ending up on the right uh, spot. Especially if you're new to this. If you have any question at all, or even you just want a buddy to double check and you don't have one, join the Voscoin Discord server, go to the DeFi channel, and ask. I will help you, or someone else in there will. I didn't really explain what I was doing as I did it here on the screen, but I was like, click, and I bridged the coins. So in this routing scenario, it decided that we would get a better deal for this move with multi-chain, specifically their V4 bridge. You can see the second best deal that it found was on the hyphen bridge. And if you go down number four, you can see hop, which is where we were adding liquidity earlier in this video. And we talked about Stargate bridge before, which I've had a good experience using that protocol as well this works i've used it before and uh estimated wait time is gonna be uh, six minutes until uh bridge off so there you guys have it thanks for watching the Vosco on youtube channel home of our cdo our chief DeFi officer tales the cutest the wiggliest the puppliest and uh yeah my name is Vosk. thank you so much for watching hope you enjoyed the video if you'd like more videos like this Subscribe to the Vosco on YouTube channel. Stick around. We got tons. And we make more all the time. I hope they're all right. That they're not. Well, <laughs> people always tell me that in the comments. If you liked it at all, let me know that too. See you later.